Uh, it's Tim from EverythingEtsy.com, and I'm just following up on a post I did, uh, or a video I recently did, about how to install your Etsy Mini. And uh, you know, we had uh, a number of questions on the post um, and uh, on YouTube, and the uh, one of the questions, you know, made me realize that I should do another video uh, to explain, uh, you know, how you can incorporate this into your blog a little better. I mean, I, I showed how to put it on the on the sidebar of your blog um, and how to make a page, but I didn't show how you would get to a page if you made one. Um, so I thought we would do that now and show a couple different ways that you can incorporate your Etsy Mini as a page uh, into your blog, the one being as a page, you know, somewhere on the side of your, you know, somewhere in the back of your um, blog, not necessarily the front page, um, and how you would get to it if you do that, and then how to make it the front page. Uh, and this is using WordPress, a self-hosted WordPress uh, installation, which I think is very similar to a WordPress.com installation um, in many ways. Uh, so I think this would apply to both of those. I'm not sure if there's a way to set uh, a particular page as your homepage on a blogger uh, blog. I'm assuming that there is. I haven't looked at that in a long time. Uh, so if you're using WordPress, um, this should be exactly what you need if you want to incorporate your Etsy Mini uh, to help you uh, make your shop visible on your site. So I, what I did, you know, I mean, this is my remodeling blog, remodelingguy.net. This is me right here. I'm this yellow guy. Um, no, no, that's not me. I, I'm sure my picture is somewhere. There it is. Oh, that's me. So um, anyway, um, you know, this is not normally a blog about Etsy, uh, but I wanted to, for some reason, I decided to use it there, I guess, just because I uh, am more comfortable messing with the sidebars on my own blog than I am on Kim's. So um, Kim's my wife on everything Etsy. So uh, anyway, um, so as you can see here, I put the Etsy mini in the sidebar and in the last video and, and showed how to do that. So I'll link to that in this video so that you can see uh, that one if you want to just know how do you get this in the sidebar? How do you make an Etsy mini to begin with? I showed all that in the other video so you can take a look at that and you'll see uh, how to do it. Another thing I showed how to do in the uh, previous video was how to put the Etsy Mini on a page, um, just you know, a single page in WordPress um, that had nothing but the Etsy Mini on it. So this is the page that I made. Uh, a question came in, you know, how do we find this page? So if we go back to the home page of the site, you know, you see that okay, here's my blog. It's got my recent post. It doesn't uh, uh, necessarily have anything that says anything about this new page I made. Um, and the way that you do that in WordPress uh, with pages is generally you have links somewhere on the site. You have menu uh, items that lead you to various places, including pages. Um, you know, so I'm going to show you how first to do that, how to get uh, to this. You know, say we've got a blank spot in this menu right here. Um, you know, it may kick it down to the next level or whatever, depending on some of the settings on the site. And but right now I'm going to try and put it in this blank spot right here. So let's just go. Uh, to the dashboard and we'll go to appearance and menus now we also I mean, you know if I go back to the site there's there's a shortcut to get there um, you can just go uh, it'll come here there you go you can just go right to menu so this will get you straight there either way from the dashboard appearance menus or straight menus from this bar um, so we're in menus and this shows the menu structure that's there so it's a do-it-yourself design. These are the top-level menu items, ones that are all the way out here to the left. So if we go here, we say do-it-yourself and design, and then that's these drop-downs, and secondary, and you know, what is it, uh, tertiary? Anyway, third. The uh, you know, um, but anyway, um, so we go, and uh, where's the menus? So you've got the different levels: the primary, secondary, third, <laughs> and um, but. Uh, so you want to make one of these be for your Etsy Mini, uh, the page. So you have a new page. Uh, we called it My Etsy Shop. That's the title of the page. So you go to the menu, go down. Uh, actually, don't, you don't have to scroll down. You go here to uh, Pages, and you find it. Here it is, My Etsy Shop. It's in most recent because I just did it. And you say Add the Menu. And it's going to go down to the bottom. So now we will have to scroll down. So you scroll down, and there it is, My Etsy Shop. So that's what I want, although I don't think that many words will fit uh, because I'm running out of space there. So I'll just say, um, you know, my shop and see if that fits in that empty spot we had on the end of the menu. I change that. I don't have to change anything else. I hit save. Um, so 
now when we go to the blog, the visit site, take a look at it, we'll see there it is. See, so now we've got this uh, link here that says My Shop. So we click on that, go to My Shop. So that's one easy way to do it. Now, of course, anybody that comes to my remodeling blog right now and and uh, is looking at uh, you know how to build a picket fence or something like that, and they click on my shop, they're gonna they're gonna wonder uh, you know wow this guy's all over the place. He's he's doing carpentry over here and selling tote bags over here. So that's fine. That's kind of the truth anyway, really. So um, let's uh, let's go back um, and I want to show you how to put a menu in the sidebar. So let's go to the home page and I'll show you what I'm talking about and then we'll do it. So say you don't have room up here in the top um, you know or you don't want to mess with your top menu and uh, you want to put a link in the sidebar. Now you can do that if you know HTML it's easy to put a link anywhere you just do a text widget uh, the same as you did to put your Etsy mini uh, in the other video I showed you how to do that here you do the same thing with a text widget and you put a uh, you know, HTML code for a link but say you don't really want to learn any HTML, even though that particular kind of uh, coding is very simple. Say you don't want to learn that. So um, let's go back in, and we'll go to uh, the dashboard. There's also a, short, a shortcut for this, is to go straight to widgets. Um, but I'm an old-fashioned WordPress guy, uh, and so I still do it the old way, even if I see the link to go the short way. So appearance, widgets. You know, normally what you're going to have here is just your sidebars. You're going to have primary sidebar, secondary sidebar, sidebar one, sidebar two, whatever it's called. Um, you'll have your sidebars. Um, so I'm just going to go and, um, oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. i got to make a custom menu first. So let's go to menus, uh, appearance, menus, here we go, and uh, add a menu, create a new menu. And we'll call it um, we'll call it sidebar menu. And say create menu. And then we're going to add that page to the menu. So we're going to add that page to this menu. So add to menu. Click on my Etsy shop. Add to menu. And there we go. So I'll leave it as my Etsy shop and say save menu. And so that's it. Now I can go to widgets. And here's my sidebar. Let's say I'm going to put it, um, you know, just I'll put it at the very top. The uh, So I'm going to say uh, custom menu. Custom menu. So I put it right at the top. And it's going to say, what menu do you want? And say sidebar menu. And that's it. Hit save. And now we'll go back to the site and see if it's there. There you go. See, now it's a link. Now there's some styling and stuff you can do uh, as part of your CSS for your site. So you can just click on that and you'll go to the Etsy shop. So, you know, the uh, that's that's the second way to do it. So you can put it in the top. It's still there. We didn't take it away. Um, or you can put it in the sidebar and, uh, and people can get to it from there. Now you can add as many things to that menu as you want. So you could have 10 different pages and they could all be in that sidebar menu. The, the next thing I want to show you is how to make that your home page. So if people go to whatever your URL for your blog is, you want them to see that Etsy mini first right on the front, um, here's how you do it. So we go to, uh, go to uh, dashboard and we're going to need to make a new page um, for blog, you know, so that you're, you'll have a place to put your blog posts. If you if you don't care about having your blog posts accessible uh, in order, recent posts, um, then you don't need to do this. But if you want to have your blog accessible uh, as a blog page, not just using the single post link, then you're going to need um, to add a page for your blog. So we go to pages, add new blog and publish. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to put anything in it. Nothing. The, uh, and so then go to um, settings, reading, and make your home page. It says front page displays a static page instead of your latest post. And then say front page, Etsy shop, post page, 
blog. And I don't have a menu link um, for blog, so I'll have to type it in. But now my, my remodeling guy blog is a real mess now. Anybody that goes there at this moment is going to see this, <laughs> which is funny. Um, and they would actually have to go to uh, remodeling guy, uh, but I can't see it because I've got my screen messed up, slash blog to get to my blog. So you'd have to make a menu link that pointed to your blog. It'd be up here, it says blog, and it would go to your blog page. And as you can see, that's my regular blog page, like what we had on the home page a minute ago. Now, before I can do anything else, I've got to make that go away. The, uh, cause that's not what, uh, that's not what this site is about. And anybody that comes there is going to see it. Um, so anyway, what I've shown you, um, let's see, where was that reading? Go back to saying your front page is your latest posts, save the changes, and once that change is effective, it'll be all set. There we go. So I'm back to normal. Although I have to take away my Etsy shop link right there on the top, although I don't know, it stands out pretty good. So what we've, what we've seen is uh, how to put your Etsy shop link here in the main menu to make a sidebar menu to put it there. Uh, how to make it the home page as a static page if that's what you want and how to set up a blog page if you decide to do that. Um, the other video that we did uh, the other day showed how to make an Etsy mini to begin with and how to put it in the sidebar as a text widget. So I uh, hope that those have been helpful and uh, if there's any questions just leave them there in the post either on YouTube or on everythingetsy.com and uh, I will do my best to answer them for you and uh, the uh, let's see so you can see on everything Etsy just go down to comments and leave a question and I'll chime in and give my really short uh, or long-winded answer depending so thank you so much uh, have a good day